Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you something pretty cool, which is my first sketchbook at the École des Beaux-Arts de Paris from 7, 2017 to 2018. This was my first drawing at school in the Amphitheatre de Morphologie's uh, natural cabinet or drawing cabinet reserves. They had these models. Um, from plaster of human limbs, hands, arms, legs, etc. And I drew it in pencil. It was my very first drawing at this school. And you can see the graphite's been worn through a bit, but here's a close-up and I have many interesting drawings to show you here. Enjoy! Just a gentle reminder to please like and subscribe for more arts, culture, Parisian lifestyle and drawing content. So here's a turtle skeleton from the Jardin des Plantes. I made this as part of the Visite Dessinée drawing class with um, Philippe Gomard, a super badass artist who is a drawing god. Sadly, he left two years into my um, school time here, but uh, I also had this with Valérie Saunier, who is still at the school and the head of the drawing department, I think. So this was a turtle skeleton behind a glass case in the Jardin des Plantes. I only had a micron pen with me at the time, which isn't very good for showing variations in your lines. But I managed to make a little more shadows, even if it was very sketchy or not very refined. So this is a more refined pencil drawing of the of some machinery at the Museum of uh, Arts and uh, Métier. So you translate that maybe as uh, careers or industries. And um, here you can see I did a pretty okay job of preserving the whites to show reflections on the metal. Sometimes when you draw, um, one of the common mistakes is to maybe push yourself too hard in doing contrast and variation and maybe adding too much dark or value or ink or pencil and you can't really take that off like you're racing. <laughs> That's my uh, crush at the time, I drew a little heart. And I always like to add some text inside. I can work backwards or do mirror writing so it's pretty cool. This was from the Hôpital Saint Louis. They have a room full of wax models of skin diseases, dermatolog dermatological illnesses etc. I chose this one of a hand so you can see the palm, different views of the hand and even a piece of the torso. I can't remember which disease this was but it was maybe psoriasis. I don't know it's pretty common and sometimes I even deal with it myself. There I wrote ah skin fungal infection that's what it was. And uh, in the corner was a little contact for the guy who runs the cabinet in case I ever wanted to go draw again. Um, I think Parisians are actually pretty nice. You just have to maybe open up to them a little bit. <laughs> this was a bouquet of flowers I drew at a friend of a friend's house. At the time they were actually um, talking about some very serious matters that weren't really related to myself and I felt a bit awkward so I just sat at the dining table drawing flowers. Yeah. Having a sketchbook is a very social tool as well. <laughs> You'll see more of that later in the sketchbook. This was just a drawing from imagination. My style has changed a lot from now on, but sometimes I think it's always good to have a mix of drawing from reality and drawing from your imagination, or even writing down your thoughts in a sketchbook. It's all a matter of balance. So I would used to draw at parties um, where I didn't want to talk to the people there. Because sometimes I just go out of curiosity with a friend who was friends with them, but I wasn't really their friend, so uh, yeah, I would just draw them. And here it's another person with some uh, plants. And uh, there I wrote, I was thinking of the movie. Um, I can't remember which movie. Uh, from Ma Toko Shinka, is that it? In my mind, I'm always searching for you and the random places in daily life, etc. And uh, here is one that I really like. This was um, from the reserves of the Natural History Museum. And this was a coelacantha. So it's a very old, ancient, prehistoric fish that still exists today. It, le it lives deep, deep down in the oceans. 
so you don't see them easily and they sort of um, got skipped over a little bit uh, through evolution for all the other animals and humans and they're just hidden down the sea and they tell scientists a lot about um, prehistoric animals and fauna and I found this model of the koala cant very uh, interesting so I drew it for the Visi Destiny class that time and I think it's one of the favorites from my drawing teacher, Philippe Comau, so that's always nice to impress him because <laughs> he's really good at drawing. As I mentioned before, so this is an octopus sculpture from Serena Caron at an exhibition in the Musée de la Chasse for another Visi Dessiné class. This was one of my favorite exhibitions and um, that I've ever seen. It was Sophie Gad and Serena Caron at the Museum of Hunting and Nature. So for this exhibit, they actually had uh, anecdotes and uh, ceramics related to uh, the chase, but the romantic chase, like courtship. And it was so interesting to read and see. So here I wrote backwards with my left hand. I can do that pretty easily, and it's a good hack for not letting people read easily what you have in your sketchbook or diary. And yeah, that's a... Uh, uh, blind contour drawing. So I tried to draw with one line, looking only at the object, not lifting it off the paper, etc. Sometimes you have good drawings, sometimes it's nice to even just doodle a little bit. You shouldn't feel shy about making bad quote unquote drawings. It's important. So here's a bison and a skeleton from the Reserves of the Natural History Museum again. Here I drew the bison taxidermy and the skeleton as well. The nuances are pretty good, but uh, my teacher told me that maybe I should add a bit more variation and depth and volume to the bison behind the skeleton. The skeleton was pretty good, but maybe I should have added some more variations because it looked a little bit flat. Otherwise, this is a drawing that I liked quite as well. And you can see here it's a pencil drawing. I used mixtures of shading techniques hatching, cross-hatching, and I like to sort of let the graphite or the pencil sort of soak into the paper and the image will just rise out in a sense as you build it over time. So here is another a social drawing, anti-social social drawing you could say. <laughs> it's from a cinema club night at a friend of a friend's again. And um, it's a typical Parisian apartment, but more high-end. And this lady had a lot of really cool lamps, that I, which I really loved. I mean, lamps of all kinds, hanging from the ceiling, wonky. Yeah, it was really lovely to draw. Here was a sculpture from the Petit Palais um, in the middle of Paris. And uh, this is one of my not as strong drawings. I, I got a little bit bored, and to be honest, my vision isn't very good, uh, so everything's a bit blurry sometimes. I just never wear glasses, bad habit. And when I got bored, I drew a cross-dressed version of <laughs> the sculpture. <laughs> yeah, my brain's a bit odd. I like that about myself. And uh, this next drawing is also one of my favorites because it's hard to impress my uh, teacher at the time. So in this one, I drew the garden from the greenhouse at the Jardin des Plantes, the tropical greenhouse from the plants garden in Paris. And uh, I was actually sitting right next to the drawing teacher. So I definitely got more motivation from that. So here I was using Micron pen again. So not, a, not very good for showing... Uh, brush-like strokes or variations in your lines, but I got to build up all the details, kind of like a scanner almost. And all and all the complexity of the plants and the gardens sort of transferred in. And you can see there's a pond, a bassin in front of us. And I sort of got to show the reflections in the water as well. This next one is the Minerals Museum at the Ming Paris Tech University next to the Luxembourg Gardens. There's this hidden museum inside the university of cabinets full of minerals. It's really beautiful, you should visit. And here I drew a cabinet with minerals inside and you can see the reflection on the glass 
That was what I was trying to draw because I found that very beautiful, the reflection. You can see the reflections of the windows, even the reflections in the reflections of the horizontal table cabinets or display cases right here beneath the windows. Yeah, this, this drawing um, was more of a study on reflections and light and uh, it's more subtle, atmospheric, and I quite like this drawing as well. In each drawing, it's always really good to focus on one um, technique to try to refine it. It will help you build your skills over time. These are some of my dinner party doodles. <laughs> I drew some uh, vegetables, aubergines, champagne. <laughs> and this was um, from a birthday party in uh, the Triangle d'Or, or the 8th district, which is the most expensive, most bougie district. And uh, I didn't really feel like talking to the people there. <laughs> yeah, I don't go to these kind of parties or events anymore. I just feel kind of um, like I didn't feel like they were very uh, chill people. I don't know. And I just drew them without faces, sort of. Kind of like I could see there were people, but I didn't know them very well, so... I drew them in that style, maybe that's what influenced me. So this next uh, class for Visite Dessinée, um, uh, we went to the Cité de l'Architecture, the Architecture Museum, and um, I drew this. So you can see 21st of February 2018. And um, this one was not, was not as strong as the other drawings, I'd say, but Sometimes when I get cold, I get bored and out of focus, but then this next one was pretty strong, I think. Um, this was from the Fragonard Museum. They have plasticized anatomical parts from animals and humans. It's really impressive. It's in Maison Alpha, which is a bit outside of Paris. And uh, this joke caption I wrote is, When you see a 10 out of 10 in the metro, and you make this sort of expression like, wow. That girl or guy is really good looking. <laughs> and here's a plasticized human without skin. Now yeah, it's kind of the same feeling of amazement. So the next one was some doodles or design ideas I had for felted headpieces. Sometimes when I have ideas, I just like to draw them down into my sketchbook before I forget. It's a very good habit and I highly recommend you do this as well. Uh, even if... <laughs> Even if it's a bit different from the other drawings in your sketchbook, don't feel embarrassed, you know, about putting drawings that you might feel are less professional or finished. So this was a drawing of Rodin's uh, lover sculpture from the Rodin Museum. And uh, this one is quite beautiful, very gentle. I wanted to convey this soft feeling in my drawing of the sculpture's gestures, these really intimate, gentle comforting gestures and I tried to convey that in the lines or the traits of my pen here yeah so this is one of my favorites in the sketchbook as well and uh, I think it was pretty atmospheric now here speaking of atmospheric is a really atmospheric drawing so this drawing is from the Aquarium de la or Aquarium de la Porte Dorée. It's a tropical aquarium um, in the east of Paris, and everything was really dark in here. But and it was really warm and humid. And my drawing class went there one day, and there was this boy named Sasha who was drawing by the aquarium. I liked the way the light sort of gave him a dark silhouette. So I drew this catfish with him next to it in this big, enormous dark, humid, damp aquarium. Yeah, these are all really good places to go draw. And this is, um, di these are dinosaur bones, or models at least, from the Natural History Museum, I think. When you go to the Natural History Museum in Paris, it really is full of bones in the main hallway. And then you get to see some other items of animals, natural history, etc. It's a great place to go draw skeletons and to learn about the internal structure of animals and organisms. This was from another visite dessinée class at the Quai Branly Museum. Uh, it's a museum of Asian and Oceanic cultures. And uh, these were some uh, 
very old Japanese warrior costumes. So it kind of reminds you of、uh, what we typically think similar, at least of a samurai costumes, etc. These were in a dark,、uh, dark muse, very dark colored museum, and they had very strong lights. This was a drawing of my hand, with a very simple gesture that I just really liked a lot. So you see, there are many different types of drawings. There are very complex drawings like the plants, and there are simple drawings like this where you see the line just comes out, and the simple beauty of the line is very special. Now here's a diary entry that I wrote with my left hand, of course, I'm, I'm a lefty, in mirror writing, so backwards, <laughs> with a little self-portrait in the middle. And this was a bronze relief sculpture from the garden of the Bourdin Museum. Bourdin was a French sculptor, and he has a very beautiful museum near Montparnasse. And this was a sculpture of Aurora, and she was peeking out from behind the rose bushes in the garden. It was so lovely. This was another more monumental, large sculpture inside the Bourdin Museum. And here are just some more doodles that I just like to add into my sketchbook because sometimes I have ideas, but sometimes it's also very random. I don't really sort of censor myself when it comes to my sketchbook. I don't worry about making bad drawings, quote unquote. I think it's important to do a bit of everything, to not really hold yourself back. And this was a drawing of the Quai de la Seine riverbanks. <laughs>、That's a boy that I used to like, but I don't really like anymore. Like I don't really care. And these were some jewelry design ideas. For a Beaux Arts de Paris chômé, appel à projet or contest for some new designs, and another fantasy drawing. <laughs> Cigar, records, perfume, newspaper, dress. Yeah, I, I was thinking of an odd couple, <laughs> little skeleton. At the time, I was just doodling, thinking to myself, I wonder what kind of man I would really love, like what my dream guy would be like. I don't know. Like you see this little drawing of the lady with、uh, with the heels that I just showed you. Even some odd little drawings like that, I feel, are just as valuable as any fancy drawing of like a buffalo skull. That's just my opinion. Just be. I think techniques are important, but once you own the techniques, I don't think you should feel obligated to do them. Like even these little cartoonish drawings. Like myself as a spoiled comic book character, those I think have just as much value, if not more, than anything copied and pasted from real life. And that's my pretty boyfriend. I will reveal it at one million subscribers. Ha! <sighs> no limits on myself. Yeah, shameless. This was a little drawing of a house that I made for a crafts project while I was giving arts and crafts classes to some kids at a daycare. I was teaching them English and giving them arts and crafts projects. I'll do a story time on that later. And、um, afterwards, the last page、uh, for today in part one is some more、um, drafts or some more drafts for Shomei. I actually wasn't able to qualify to enter even because I was only in the second year, and you had to be in the third year or above to apply, which was kind of dumb in my opinion. But I think they. Do that to filter out people they think would have, like, would be less ready or mature. But yeah, whatever. So part two is coming soon. Stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned a lot and appreciated and enjoyed this video. You can subscribe for more arts, culture, Parisian lifestyle, and drawing content here at La Princesse des Beaux Arts. And you can also follow me on Instagram at La Princesse des Beaux Arts. And on Instagram, I have lots of. Uh, long captions about my thoughts,、uh, in addition to photos from my daily life or museum exhibitions. Typically, my favorite works in various Parisian museum exhibitions, and of course, my artwork. So you can find me there. And、uh, thanks for watching. And、uh, do something nice for yourself today. I'm really grateful that you watched my video. And take care. Bye bye. See you soon. <laughs>